you will... There are two species of colobus monkeys in Kenya, the Angolan black and white colobus and the eastern black and white colobus. The monkeys live in dense forest and rarely descend to the ground. Diani near the Kenyan coast where the monkeys are found is urbanizing fast, resulting in habitat loss for the species and a threat of extinction. As we have more deforestation, conversion of land uses, their habitats get restricted and you're not able to, they're not able to move um, to find food or resources and they can't really interbreed, they can't meet other populations, can't meet each other. So in that situation where you have fragmented populations, um, it's easier to lose them to extinction. Electrocution is an unfortunate fate that faces a growing number of monkeys. In order to get past busy traffic, some will clamber across power lines. The conservation group tries to save the electrocuted monkeys, but this isn't always possible. But there are also other threats to this primate. Its striking fur has made it attractive to poachers. In several cases, unfortunately, we lose the animal or the individual to electrocution, and this is because the lines are largely uninsulated. So to address this, we work with the relevant government uh, agencies that are in charge of um, power supply here in Kenya to address this challenge by um, insulating our power lines, particularly in the Diani area and in the new sections of Diani that are being developed as um, we see the increase of tourism and the increase of um, people, um, or basically as the city becomes bigger. A 2019 report by Colobus Conservation noted that deforestation is causing a slow but gradual decline in the population of Colobus monkeys within their range, with over 80% of the cost of forests already lost.